to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them to die. To sleep. No more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache. The thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die. To sleep. To sleep perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Th there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. <laughs> the proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The law's delay the insolence of office, or the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the fear of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveler returns, it puzzles the will. It makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus is the native hue of resolution sickly o'er by the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and, and moment. With this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs>